What's up, everybody? It is Ask World 17. Thank you so much for tuning in. Make sure your girl can be seen. Okay, so um, I got some questions in my box, you know, and I'm just going to jump right in. So let's see what we have. My first question is from Shyla Miles. What up, Shyla? Uh, Ro, what it do, Booski? <laughs> Cute. <laughs> I have one question for you. Uh, two kind of, laugh out loud. What is your take on starting over, generally speaking, but specifically regarding your dreams as well? How do you reboot when things don't go as planned? You know, I blogged about this at askroad.com. You can go click on inspiration on the blog and there should be a um, a post on there. And I, I think the name of it, it definitely has putting the wind back in your sails or something like that in the title. So I won't go into any like long drawn out um, explanation here because I did put a lot of tips in there um, that will hopefully be something that you can use and that you find really useful for yourself. But short quickly I would just say it starts with you you know so you know what do you want you know all I'm a stickler for you know get clear what, what do you want you know and then ask uh, for spirit to keep expanding uh, your grandest vision of yourself because sometimes we forget or you know we forget how to dream big or we're afraid of dreaming big I don't want you to have a ceiling you know um, go back to your dreams, update them because, you know, we've changed, we evolve. Um, the things that we might want or the ways that we think we want to have them could be different. So revise your dream, um, but your belief is so big. Do you believe you can have it? Do you believe you deserve it? And then are you willing to put forth the effort, the time, the energy um, that it's going to take, the focus and determination that it's going to take to allow it to manifest? It is I, I believe all things are possible, and if you apply yourself, you can make it happen, and you will marvel uh, at what you allow into your experience. So go check that uh, blog out for me, and then hit your girl up and let me know what you think, okay? So it's good to hear from you, Shyla. And my next question is from Amir, my homie. What up? <laughs> Hi, Rona. I miss you. I miss you, too. Uh, my question for you uh, for this blog is what is your definition of love? That is all. Laugh out loud. <laughs> um, hmm. My definition of love. You know, the thing that comes to me is a state of allowance. When you offer and give to someone compassion and forgiveness in spite of. When you're able to allow someone to be who they are, flaws and all, um, and offer caring and understanding, you know, to be there for them, to, you know, allow them to be who they are and still care for them and love them, you know, that's love. Forgiveness and compassion in spite of. I'm going to roll with that. State of allowance. <laughs> um, okay. Okay. And then one more question from Jarrell. What up, Jarrell? How are you? Says, hey, 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 Ro, your most, most annoying fan is back to ask you a few questions. You are not annoying. I love to hear from you. Uh, number one, if given a chance, whose artist are you going to collaborate with? And number two, what are your plans for 2011? Okay, number one, if given a chance... Um, Whose artist are you going to collaborate with? I addressed this question or something similar in um, Ask Row 3. So I have two people on my tongue and then I have something else I was just thinking about uh, today. Um, definitely Jamie Foxx because, uh, you know, I've had a, 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 more than a few people hit me up at this point asking if one of the songs in particular that we worked on, it was just an excerpt on the show. Um, it's not even a title. So people say, if I'm not at home, please leave me a message. But they wish that was a song. And, you know, the more I hear it from people, I'm like, wow, it would have been really cool to have that uh, be available to the public. So it would be dope to come back together with Jamie and actually make that happen. I would also uh, uh, be open to working with uh, someone that I've always appreciated and loved since I was a kid, Whitney Houston, you know. And um, wouldn't it be kind of fly to gather a lot of the singing divas of today, you know, like um, Jasmine Sullivan, um, Chrisette Michelle, uh, Brandy, 
Marsha Ambrosia, Lettucey, uh, Kelly Price, Tamia, Robezy. <laughs> Bring us together and do something so powerful and just showcasing the vocals of some singing ladies, you know? So that would be an amazing collaboration to bring together a lot of talented women and um, see what kind of message we could come up with and do some singing. That would be kind of cool. And then you have, uh, thanks, Ro, for being such an inspiration. Advanced Merry Christmas. God bless and take care always. Thank you so much, Jarrell. I appreciate that. And a happy holidays to everybody else. Oh, I didn't answer one more question. Uh, what are my plans for 2011? Dude, um, that is such a huge question for me because I feel like I've been laying the foundation in 2010 for something fabulous. That is my intention. So I, I marvel to see <laughs> uh, what will manifest for me next year. Um, I've had a pretty interesting last few years of my life. It's been a bumpy ride. So um, I feel like I really took life by the horns this year and I um, have developed and acquired some traits and attributes that I feel are necessary in order for me to take things to the next level. And um, it's, it's been really rewarding um, to to anchor these things in my life. So I'm looking forward to see what kind of fruit will come from what I've uh, planted. You feel me? So thank you so much for your questions, you guys. You know I appreciate you. I love uh, to have you tuning in. And I look very forward to having you at Ask Row 18. Okay? Peace. <laughs>